What's going on YouTube? This is CJ 64 and welcome to episode 4 of the Pokemon White Randomizer Chili Lock. If you've enjoyed the first three episodes, I will ask you to leave a like for this episode for number 4 and subscribe for more chili shenanigans. So, episode 4, um, we did pretty well. We've got um, a new ally for our team. We haven't lost anything. We've actually got a pretty good lineup for our team. And uh, we're going to go through a team run through, but first, I'm going to have to eat a chili. I restocked because uh, that last episode, taking three chilies, really took a toll on my chili stock. And since how much it burned last time, I've upgraded to a carton. So now we're on episode four, so last time we had to hold this for a minute without anything, so this time we're going to go for... 1 minute and 15 seconds without anything, so there's no way to avoid this. Episode 4, chili number 4, cheers. Long time starts now. No, no, oh no, oh. So what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll do a quick team run through. Oh. So we've got Use your head, Crony Dose. Snow Cone, the Vanillite. DFA, Death from Above, Charizard. Bipolar, Beartic. And the new member to our team, Chili the Typhlosion. You can't swallow these chilies so bad. Oh. Alright, so this time we're going to go up to, uh, we just got the basic badge, and we just did the special course. Oh god, this is terrible. <sighs> oh wait, we forgot to go to Professor Fennel, that was the other thing we forgot to do. Alright, so we're going to go back to um, Professor Fennel, and talk about her new startling discovery with the Dream Mist. Oh <sighs> god, this is terrible. Uh, uh, three, two, one, stop. A minute 16. Get that milk in my mouth. Should have opened this before. Oh. Oh. Take a break, we might get some more after. Oh. Ta da! Hey, sir. Oh. No, we can't. More milk. And while we're at it, boom. Four chilies in the back. And we're staying strong. Thanks to you, I got some Dream Mist, and now I can collect save files of various trainers. Thank you very much. No, thank you for putting me through this. As I take my appreciation, I'll give you this C gear to use. The C gear is a device related communication, such as infrared connection and then a Wi Fi connection. So, on normal DSs, this is where you've got to be able to play people, um, wireless bells, and all that. Turn on. No, there's no point. Yes, that's fine. Turn it on, hit the power symbol. Well, we don't need to worry about that. And our touch screen is going to be pointless. No, I don't want to learn more. All right. Oh. Okay, we get it. Oh, just get me out of here. <sighs> Thank you for helping family. Please take this. It's a verse recorder. I like the power pad. Kind of like the best recorder. <sighs> yes, 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 yes. Alright. 
So now we can finally leave Accumula City. And actually, there's a straight. Ugh. Oh, that hurts. Okay, so now we can leave Strides and City. And we're on Route 3 now, which means we get a new encounter, which is terrific. But first, we have this double battle. So we'll put Chili at front. And we'll put DFA at the back, because you guys know how I like to organize my Pokemon. And let's do this little double battle so we can get some experience for our Pokemon. We got to combine the strength and do our best, so please watch. Um, one plus one's two, right? No, it's eleven. <sighs> okay, so, Mom Pa. Jeez. Clean Clang and Pants Age. Both of Chili's favorite kinds of opponents. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go Ember on the Clean Clang. And we're going to go Ice Cold Spear on the Pants Age. Let's see how we go. Chili gets the first hit. Takes about 60%. Vice Grip. Reasonable amount of damage. Vine Whip, not very effective. I still spear. That's a tough pan stage, but that time's a charm. <coughs> <coughs> Ember again, and we'll go astonish this time on the clean clean. Clean clean. get a level which is pretty good so um oh my apologies two level boosts up this is pretty good we're getting all our Pokemon leveled up which is good so now it's no going to join the level up league all right so we're gonna go ahead and challenge all these kids in the preschool but first reverse the teacher Invincible, yeah, right. So you feel powerful with kids. You swim on. Leafy on. Perfect for my chili. So the question of the day today, I'm going to ask you guys is, where do you see yourselves in five years? Now, with me, let's see. Five year plan. Well, I hope to become, uh, I'd say, a bit better with my channel. Hopefully. A lot more viewers, a lot more subscribers in five years. I mean, this is just a fun hobby for me. Like, as far as my work goes, um, I hope to move up in my work so that I can obviously earn more money, have a bigger house, you know, all the things essential to have a family because I'd like to have a family in five years. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Um, we'll get rid of Leo for quick attack. But um, hopefully I'll be a bit thinner as well, because um, I've, I've lost uh, 22 kilos in the last three months. Superior, we'll keep you in. And I want to lose more weight, get down to about uh, 105, 110 kilos. Um, for those that don't know, basically I started at 310 pounds and I went down to 360, uh, 261. But I want to get down to about 240. That'd be alright for my height, because I'm a pretty tall guy, I'm like nearly six foot. Um, but yeah, that's my plan for five years. Leave a comment down below and tell me what your plans are for the next five years. We return to the battle and Chili is just running rampant on all these grass types. And we missed the Ember because of that sand attack from that uh, previous Mon. But not a problem because we take it out when they get a lot of experience for that. Very happy indeed. Two levels. My my chili, calm down. You're as rampant as the chili in my throat. Ah, but I'm actually a lot better now. I'm actually getting used to the, the chili and all that, so... Obviously you saw me, I was a mess at the start, but I eventually got there. Let's uh, train up uh, Bipolar, because it's our warm on. Hey, trainer, have a battle with me. Sure thing, Kira. Schoolgirl Scarlet, even as a boy. Empoleon. Wow, that's a that's a mighty mom we got there. Um, not a good matchup for bipolar on any level since it's water steel. Um, none of my Pokemon are a good matchup for this. God, we're like it's back at the K 
Caracosta, come on man, like, ugh. I can't use Use Your Head because Use Your Head is both rock and, well, here's both my weaknesses. Uh, I might go DFA, I suppose, that's probably the best way to go at it. Not liking this at all. Growl, that's alright. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and hopefully get the burn on this uh, Empoleon. We're going to go for the embers and hopefully snag a burn. I actually did a lot. Goes for a tackle. Okay, we might not have a water move, so that might be good for us. But we won't get too ahead of ourselves because we had them before. And he's just going to growl and we're going to just burn him to the ground with our ember. Finish him. So yeah, so I'm pretty happy. So, like I said, I'm actually pretty surprised of all the Pokemon that we've got stuff with. Like, I mean, most of them are like final stage Pokemon, like uh, Typhlosion and Charizard. Then we've got part of the two evolution stages, which is obviously Bipolar. And then we've got a good amount of baby Mons, the Use Your Head and the Snow Cone. Trainer, I'm gonna play with you. All these kids, see, I'm a, I love kids. I'm a great, I'm a kids guy. I like to get my hands and just play with kids. Don't take that out of the wrong context. I like playing with my kids. I've got a two-year-old brother. Um, you probably would have heard him in the first episode screaming in the background, but um, you know, he's the cutest kid, so you, you know, you've got to love him. Um, we'll go for the icy wind. He goes razor leaf and misses. And he, we go for the icy wind and that lands. Good news for us. And now we'll go for the palace snow to finish her off. And that will do it for that victory ball. With a crit as well, pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Oh, also, before I forget, before I forget, I would like to congratulate one of my friends. His name is Taylor Franco. He um, just had a child, uh, his firstborn son, a couple of days ago. So I would like to offer my congratulations to you, Taylor, and your, your uh, to your, your missus. Uh, I, I, I can't remember if she's your girlfriend or your fiance or your wife, so I apologize for that. But I congratulate both of you on your born son. His name is uh, Lennon Taylor, and he's a cute kid. So um, if you see him on the Pokemon Xanus page, his uh, name is Taylor Franco. Go ahead and send him a congratulations, because uh, you know I was everyone was ecstatic in the um, the gym leader chat when we found out about it. So uh, we got another kid that wants to play. Yep, no problems. I'll play with you. That's a girl. Whale Lord. Alright. <clears throat> now we know it has water going to level 7, so we're going to be guaranteed knowing that it's going to be having that now. So we'll go for a cut. And that does a reasonable amount, but it's going to growl. But it's going to make this battle a very annoying battle. So I'll cut again. Hopefully take it 50%. Takes it over it, which is good. There's a water gun, but we're especially defensive. We don't give two craps about it. Oh, they just missed out. But he's gonna growl it, and we're just gonna kill it with another cut. You know, bipolar bear tick with his special attack and his strong physical attack. So we get the kill, we get a level up. Nope, we don't. Okay, that's the first time I was underappreciating that. All right, so. For my friend Taylor, I've promised uh, to see if I can hopefully find a Scyther. Now, obviously, I can't. I have no control over that. But oh, we got a battle with Sharon. Fantastic. CJ just a six four. Stop. Why well, stop? When you, I heard you call it. We both have a trio badge, so let's see which one of us is stronger. So we got another battle with uh, Sharon Rochelle, the analyst. So let's see what kind of Pokemon uh, Sharon has because. Of the randomizer, it's not going to have the same Pokemon it had at the start. So, as we see, Snivy, which uh, my bipolar bear tick at level 14 as well. So it's a pretty, pretty big mon. We're going to go ahead and go for that Powder Snow, and that should kill it with no issue. Leer, you try to reduce my defenses? How dare you! And I hope that kills. It doesn't, because obviously Bipolar's got no special attack. So, 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 so. 
Spine whip. With that lead, did absolutely nothing. We get the kill, super effective. Down it goes, bipolar, flexing those arms. And it just missed out. Bigger off. Now, because we've had our defenses lower, I think we'll give another Mon a chance. So we'll use our head and use Kranidos and get him involved, to get him some training because Vigoroth being all normal attacks, he's going to get that stab and we don't want, uh, well basically it's going to be not very effective. So, focus Andy, you want to get those crits up, but it's no match for our rock typing. So, wow, that headbutt did nothing, but we'll keep at it. After all. Uh, I was going to say, I'm waiting for the damage, it's like, huh? <laughs> There we go, so two more hits should be enough to kill it. But that uproar's gonna keep going. Luckily no crits, it's doing 10 damage. One more headbutt should do the trick. I don't even think with a crit it could kill, but it doesn't even matter. It really doesn't matter to me. Because I think it was And use your head, get to level. Yay, fantastic. And we defeat Analyst Rachel, Rochelle, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I see, so that's how you battle. Like a boss. Out of the way! Team Plaza. <sighs> Causing trouble. What was that about? Dinka, why are you running? Hey, little girl. Hey, where were those people headed? That way, but... Why are you running now? Oh, seriously, they run so fast! Miss, oh, my Pokemon! It'll be okay, it'll be okay, don't cry! For the love of God, why were you running? You have to hear this, those people stole this girl's Pokemon! You should have said that sooner! Think Ben and the analyst, the important facts will go first before the drivel. See, just six four. we're going to get that Pokemon back! Bianca, please stay out of this girl's side. Sharon, with such force. All right, so, 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 so. We're gonna go ahead and go to this childcare and heal up because I don't have to go all back, the way back to Stryton City once we can get through the door. Yes, they're not health, well, they are healthy. They're just damaged, that's all. Damaged goods. All right, thank you. Now, let's see, so, bipolar, Let's get Snowcone up front. We'll try to give everyone an even amount of screen time. We'll put Yuzo Head up and Snowcone at the top because they're the lowest levels. So, um, as always, every episode I'll ask you guys how you're doing. Leave a comment down below and tell me how you guys are. But first, we might get an encounter. So what we're going to do is we're going to see what this item is. It's a heart scale. Ooh, very nice indeed. I'm actually curious to see if that will be I mean, I know it will be useful, but just how useful will it be? So, we're gonna go over here, get this item versus trainer, and possibly get our encounters. And hopefully, it won't be another event. Okay, so encounter for about three years. A Gorbis. Very nice. See, I've never had a Gorbis before, so this will be a new experience for me. So, let's go ahead. We'll go for. It's a water type. So, we'll go for Astonish. That does nothing. It's got confusion. Wow. All right. <coughs> Chili fights back. Okay, so confusion. I'm just trying to think. We'll use bipolar. We'll swap our snow cone because um, bipolar might be able to do just a bit more damage to Gorbis. So we can lower its attack and all that enough that um, oh, whirlpool. Nice and a trapping move just as we swapped out, which is actually pretty good. All right, so, we'll go for a cut, see how much damage that does. Hopefully it doesn't do too much. That does a lot. But now we should be within range to do, go for a throw with our Pokeball. So, Pokeball, go! Attempt number one. Let's see how we go. We've got everyone on number one so far. Let's see how we go with this one. We must be on the luckiest streak ever. Everyone's gotten on down on this. Like, seriously, what is going on? 
So we got a Gorbis, fantastic, a water type, which we actually do need to have. Gorbis, the South Sea Pokemon. It lives at the bottom of the sea, and in the springtime, its pink body turns more vivid for some reason. It looks very nice, I will say that. So what we're going to call this Gorbis, because it looks so beautiful. It's a female... What do you call a female fish? Like... I'll call her Coral. It's a sea term, it's a girl's name. I'll call her Coral. The only reason, another reason why I just thought of that is because I was just thinking about the movie uh, Finding Nemo and um, the clownfish that gets killed at the start. Her name is Cor Coral, so it's kind of a movie related thing. So, uh, yay! So, we've got the Coral, uh, the Gorbus, so let's go ahead and check out our, our Gorbus and uh, see what we're dealing with here because, like I said, I've never had a Gorbus before, so this is a new experience. So, it's an adamant nature. And it looks a bit defensive, but it's only a whirlpool confusion and it's adamant. For some reason, I feel like that's bad just because I know if that wasn't uh, the negative special attack, that would be actually a lot more. So, yeah, it's an even hitter. It's got reasonable defenses. The weakest aspect of it is its speed, so um, it looks like it could be another defensive mod, which is good for us. So that's our encounter. Now we're going to get another one. Let's see what else we could have got if Silver Gorbis. Oh, we're going to get another Gorbis. And that's level 10. Oh, come on. And we just got level 8. Really? You're mean. You're mean. Alright, so we're going to try and get through this bush without running to so many encounters like we always do in the bushes. Fracture. Ooh. Oh, now I'm a little bit sad I didn't get a fracture. But, to get some experience, we're definitely going to go for an Ice School Spear and kill that Fracture. And it looks like it's going to be a 3 kill. And third time to charm once again. Fantastic! We've got a Trainer Encounter here. Your Pokémon look quite good. Would you show me how you've been training them? Like every other person, how they train them, you know? So we're versing up against Sailor Dudley, which looks nothing like a Dudley nor a Sailor. Reunculus. Ooh. Big scary Reunculus. So we're going to send our Snow King, and luckily we've got the astonishing move that's going to be able to put a puncture in it. But considering Re uh, the... Oh, I can't even think of the name, but um... Oh yeah, Duosion. Considering Duosion had rollout, I'm 100% certain this will have that move as well. So we'll go for an Astonish, and we'll just... Snatch. Okay, we don't have any items, so we don't need to worry about that. But, that does a reasonable amount of damage, but once we see it roll out, we just gotta get out of here. Uh, roll out, there we go, there we go. I knew it was coming. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring in, uh, use your head. I knew it had roll out, I knew it! I knew it! And yet I chose not to switch out to use your head first. Uh, roll out. That is nothing. That is nothing. We go for the headbutt. And it almost kills it. We're gonna get one more roll out on us. Does 11 damage, but we're gonna headbutt it. Use our head. And take out the roll out mod. Down he goes. Using your head does pay off. Manaphy. Legendary Manaphy. Um, 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 let's go for Bipolar. Hopefully Manaphy doesn't have that one move I do not want to see on it. So out comes Manaphy. I don't want to see one move. You all know what move it is. It's Tail Glow. I don't want to see that move. Bubble. Okay, it's not bad because we got a special defensive Bipolar. We'll go for the cut. That does a lot. Uh, uh, that's about... 20%? And it has the tail glow. Which I am shit scared about now. Because now this bubble's gonna do a buttload of damage now. Got a critical hit, but. Oh, that was a crit? Oh, we get a crit! 
And down goes the Manafi. And Bipolar is going to just lap up that experience like it's nobody's business. Tropius. Let's keep him in. So what we're going to do is we're going to heal up. Because we're starting to run low on things. We've got one more potion. We might go back and get some more potions. Uh, goes for the Gust. Again, special defense. Man, we're the wall. The special defense, wall. We'll go for the Icy Wind, because it's going to be four times weakness. But we are speed, so had I known that we were going for Pound Snow. But it doesn't matter, because he's dead. Down it goes. And Bipolar, level 16. Oh my gosh. Take a breather, calm down. Defrost for a bit. Man, he's on fire. Well, not literally. And we get the Iron Berry. Another one? Okay. Oh, that's not bad. Alright, so. This item is a Zinc, so that increases special defense. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to run back to town, grab some potions. Now, a lot of people have been saying that they don't like the fact that I use um, potions and all that, but look, this is. I'm just starting here with playthroughs. Like, the way I see it is, um, I'm not going to do a special strict, um, like a uh, Nuzlocke with special rules until I feel confident that I can do it. Like, I've never done a lot of playthroughs like this before. So, um, yeah, so please bear with me. Don't be just concerned by the fact that I do use potions and all that and I don't have restricted visitations on the Pokemon Center. So, um, we'll get some, oh, we can get Great Balls actually. We might do that. Uh, great balls. Let's go. We'll go five because we've got some Pokeballs still left, and we can get super potions as well. So we might go for those more. So so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, let's go eight. So we're back to being broke ass poor again. Um, and we'll get some other things as well. We'll get uh, two antidotes. Actually, we'll get three because being paralyzed or asleep. I'm not more concerned about, more I'm concerned about is poison because uh, I believe that still does as you go along. So, there we go. Alright, so now we're going to swap around our team. So this is the first time we've got a team of six, so we're looking pretty good so far. We'll put Coral at front, get her some experience. We'll put Bipolar at the back because Bipolar is just rocking it right now. Not like using your head, but it's just so strong. So we'll try and give Coral some uh, screen time here, you know, say welcome to the team. And um, we'll go ahead and we'll uh, go ahead and save this girl's mom because uh, no one likes making a little girl cry. Well, unless you're Dr. Evil, but that's just another story. So we're going to go to the cave, find Sharon, and let's see what we can do. They're right inside here, CJS64. Your Pokemon's HP is fine. You're ready to go, right? Yes, I just checked. Well, let's go. So here we go, we're going inside the cave to save the Pokemon. CJ Test Explore! This Bozum bunch doesn't really listen to reason. The team plasma, of course they That child cannot use a Pokemon to its full potential. Doesn't that make the Pokemon sad? It's the same thing for all of your Pokemon, so hand them over to us now. Or better yet, we'll just take them. Now for my dead body. So, Team Plasma, Cloak, Noel, another Cloak, Palpitoad, level 12. Let's see how Gorbis goes against this guy because it's water. We'll go for the Whirlpool to track the uh, residual damage. That does nothing really. A whirlpool for residual damage and then we'll go for the Confusions. So you've got to be a smart playthrough player. So. Now we'll go for the confusions and see if we can land a confusion. He's just going to keep going for that bubble beam. Sorry, my legs are itchy. Um, it gets the speed reduction, but it doesn't matter because Coral is a slow mon. Okay, that does reasonably... I mean, Coral's doing pretty well, considering. But also with that as well, we're actually going to get one more encounter for this area as well. Uh, Gorbis is looking a little bit damaged, so we're going to go ahead and heal him up with a... We'll get Iron Berry. Probably should have put one on Coral, just so, because we're training her up and everything else, but... You leave, you learn. That does six. So, even with a crit, that should do roughly nine. 
So one more hit, and this Palpatode should be gone with... I, I believe it should be gone. Goes for Supersonic. Oh, and he lands it. Oh, please don't let us hit ourselves. I want Coral to win this battle. Come on, Coral. Pull. Alright. Alright, I don't trust this at all. I don't want to lose Coral. We just got her. So, we're going to bring in Snowcone. Good job, Coral. You're doing great. And now comes the snow cone. Goes for the bubble beam. Wow, that is a lot. We'll go for ice school spear and hopefully... Oh, it outspeeds us? Oh, don't crit us. Oh! We almost lost him. Wow. He got a high roll on that. that mm. But we lived. We lived, we lived, we lived, we lived. Okay, that's good. Oh, that was so close. Wants to learn icy wind. Great. I want you to learn icy wind too. Have a heart on any day. Because now we've got a special attack, ice move, and a physical ice attack move. So that's great. And Coral didn't get level. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, man. Don't be like that. What? How could we lose when we have right? When we have right on our side? Not bad CJ oh, Not bad CJ 64 Okay, go return the Pokemon to the girl. You don't need to return it. Oh, it's another group of numbskulls. How troublesome. Not only do you fail to understand, but you actually got in our way to boot. There's two of you and two of us. We'll show you our combined power and teach you that we are right. So there's more of them. Still, why are Pokemon robbers acting so self-righteous? It's true. Why do they act self-righteous? We've been friends our whole lives. We got each other's back when it counts. Let's show them how it's done. So, we've got our first double battle coming up. And Coral doesn't look to be in any position to be getting in any fights anytime soon. So, per Perline and Raikou. Bro. Ugh. Damn, his legs itching. I don't know why. Good lord, that Raikou is very, 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 very scary. So, we're going to go ahead and swap out for Bipolar because I don't trust this Raikou one bit. And Bipolar being our especially defensive mon. Wild Snivy. We'll get the Leer. Which isn't bad, because it makes Cut more better. But I'm just trying to think here, but... Do we swipe Snivy misses? Alright. We'll go for... Lower the defenses. We'll get rid of that Raikou. We have to get rid of that Raikou. Fine Whip. Against the Purloin. That's 50%. We get the Cut and the Raikou. And we get 50% as well. Hey, get off me. Two times, yeah, try again. We're gonna cut that Raikou, we're gonna kill it. Thundershot. There we go, and wait for the special attack. Down goes the Poiloin, which is good. Good job, Smivy, from Sharon there. Coral Rage is level 9, fantastic. We get cut, and that Raikou goes down as well, and we get a buttload of experience for that. We should. Oh, no one levels up. What, what, we lost? I can't believe we lost to such kids. We're adults, remember? In order to liberate Pokemon from foolish people, we will take their Pokemon! Whatever. Oh, whatever, this is a waste of time. Come on, what reason could possibly justify stealing Pokemon from people? Pokemon trainers like you are making Pokemon suffer. What do you mean? Trainers are making Pokemon suffer. I don't get that at all. We'll give you back the Pokemon, but be aware of this, of how this Pokemon suffers from being used by people. Someday open your eyes to your own complicity. So you guys will use Pokemon to steal a Pokemon. That just doesn't make sense whatsoever. Trainers bring out their strength and Pokemon strength. Pokemon believe in their trainers and respond to that. I don't understand what about that makes people suffer. Which is true. Okay, CJ 64 I'll return the Pokemon. So that goes away. So, now we're going to have an encounter. I'm just trying to see which Pokemon looks good to start off with. So... <clears throat> We'll bring out DFA, give uh, Charizard some screen time, and we'll get this encounter, and that'll probably be us for the episode. Our encounter for the cave is... An Arcanine! Great! I love me some Arcanine! And it's another fire type too. I've noticed that we've been getting a lot of fire types in this playthrough. Maybe new about my chili look. Who knows? But we're going to go for a scratch now, because Intimidated it's going to do nearly nothing. Yeah, I thought so. Oh no, it's gonna roar us. 
Oh, no, 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 don't you dare, don't you dare. I want to catch him now. Shit. We've got to do more damage, though. Alright. I don't want to... Pokeball, I know it's not going to do anything. No, don't, don't, don't. It fails. Okay, good, 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 good. We're going to get to 50% and then we'll try to throw a Pokeball. Fight thing. Okay, good, 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 good. You're going to fight us. Great. Keep fighting us because we want you. We want you to be in our team. So we'll scratch you again. Don't roll. Oh, sleuth. Okay, great. So he's not attacking us. Terrific, terrific, terrific. All right. Now, we're going to go for a Pokeball. A Great Ball, actually. Yes. Let's go for a Great Ball to increase our chances of doing this. So Great Ball attempt number one. Here we go. Stay in the Arcanine. No, unless he doesn't like to listen. Another Fire Fang. All right. I want to go for something a little bit different. I'm going to go for a Ember. But I know that won't do anything either. Okay, now it's on red. So now the Great Ball has a better chance of working on it. So let's go ahead. Great Ball up. No. Great Ball it up. Great Ball go. Attempt two. Almost had a, uh, well, yeah, pretty much quoted me, so. All right, let's try this again. Great ball attempt number three. Will third time be the charm? Is that a critical throw? Okay, apparently it wasn't. I must have missed it. Come on, get in the damn ball. Take four. Now oh, come on, get in the ball, please. Why does it like in the ball? Take five. Please get in the ball. Get in the ball! Oh my gosh! Okay, so we've lost all our great balls, so now we're back to poker balls. <sighs> Man, what is with Archon's catch rate? Like, seriously. Ah. Uh... Stop trying to get rid of us. You want to get rid of us? Come with us. We don't want to beat you. We want you to join us. One of us. One of us. Goodness gracious. This Archimon is being a... a well, it's female and it's a dog, so I, I can quote it. He's, she's being a bitch. And it's the correct way of using it. So great. Oh, sorry, that's this. Bitch, get in the ball! Get in the ball! If we run out of all Pokeballs, that's it. We can't catch it. Come on. Thank you. <sighs> Ten minutes later. We finally got it! Alright. <sighs> Arcanine, the legendary Pokemon. Well, I won't go that far, but it's a pretty good Pokemon. Its proud and regal appearance has captured the hearts of people since long ago. <sighs> Alright, so your name Arcanine since you want to be a bitch. Quite literally. Uh, I don't want to call you that, so... We'll call you Tramp. There we go. Lady in the Tramp. Even though the Tramp is the guy, we're going to call you Tramp because you're... You made me work hard for that. You're a trampy. Nah, just tramp. Tramp. And now it's in the box. So, let's go ahead and see this item is over here. TM50 Refresh. <sighs> and it seems that the useless TMs of the previous playthrough is haunting us once again because... Ah, uh, my, 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 my. This is so annoying. And that's got Flash Fire and Intimidate, so luckily we got the good, um, we got the good Arcanite. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, I guess we've got to go back to Stride and City. But we'll leave things here, and, um, so when we come back, uh, I, as you can see, I've just changed shirts. I just realised that, um, the end for the outro didn't get done, so, um, as you can see, I've changed my shirt, uh, I'm getting ready to do, uh, episode 5, so, um, thank you uh, for watching this. If uh, you like these videos, click the like down below, subscribe, and spread the hashtag Chili Luck because the more people that know about this, the better. So, 
until next time, uh, thank you for watching. Whoever's watching this, wherever you're watching this, this is CJ664 over and out. And I'll see you next time.